Welcome to another awesome episode of Rub It Dub. I'm your host, Rob. Y'all came here for three awesome topics throughout the day, and more importantly, what's really making the news. Again, all the news that's fit for the vet. Do it. Story number uno. Man arrested in elevator burning. This man was arrested in New York on Saturday uh, on a horrific, horrific death of a woman in a Brooklyn elevator. The woman was burned alive in an elevator of her apartment building Saturday when a man dressed like an exterminator doused her with flammable liquid and then set her on fire. They say in the art- the article it says in with a Mataklav cocktail. But really, this guy's a sick SOB, whoever did this. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because maybe maybe other people were you know, the, under the impression that black people don't do as much crazy crimes as white people. And I was under that impression up until I read this article. This guy is an African-American New Yorker. And uh, that's the real problem about it because usually black people don't do crazy things like this. All of it was caught in disturbingly clear surveillance footage, which... I won't show in this video whatsoever. Uh, The victim, Dolores Gillespie, who was 64 years old, and I think that's important to consider, was returning with the grocery shopping, probably had her hands full, didn't really have anything to, you know, defend herself with, other than maybe a baguette and maybe a really, really long piece of salary. The crazy guy, the actual person that really is a waste of flesh, waste of human life, waste of uh, space on this planet. And his uh, name is Jerome Isaac. He's 47 years old and has been charged with first degree murder in Gillespie's death after he turned himself into police. Now this is the kicker guys. What you've all been waiting for. What would have motivated such a guy to do such a thing? Well, as it was uh, quoted on December 18th of this year, Gillespie had basically hired Mr. Isaacs to do some jobs around her apartment. He had been fired recently when Gillespie caught him stealing and lost his job. That results into someone to lose their life? Sensitive issue with me because what I don't understand, and believe me, there is a lot that I don't understand about this article, is everyone out there, everyone out there has lost the job. I ask you, have you ever felt like maybe causing harm to the person that fired you? But you know inside your head it's not the right thing to do because a voice of reason, a voice of common sense tells you not to. This guy, Jerome Isaac, no common sense whatsoever speaking of people with no common sense someone died recently story number two kim Quanil, as you might have known you probably read the title of this video kim Quanil died allegedly on saturday i don't know why i'm still happy about it. it takes like four or five days for me to stop being happy about it but today is monday december 19th and i'm still happy about it I really, really think that the year 2011 should be known as the year the dictator died. It's awesome. Sasha Baron Cohen, who's coming out with an awesome movie called The Dictator, should have came out with this movie this year. Because this year's the year of the dictator. First Gaddafi. Actually, no. First Bin Laden. Then Gaddafi. And now Queen Kwan. I mean... (laughs) Not Queen Kwan. And now... Kim Jong-il. And in case you were wondering, Kim Jong-il will be allowing his son, Kim Jong-un, or un, Kim Jong-un, well, I'm a little bit French, so un, un means one. Anyways, we'll be taking over for his departed. I was going to say dearly, 
but just departed father. And uh, just a couple of facts about Kim Jong-il. He loved Hollywood. He loved his cognac, expensive cognac. He also had a height disadvantage. In case you have noticed, he was very, you have noticed he was very short, and he actually wore stilts. Also, in case you were wondering, he was cuckoo crazy, very cuckoo crazy. He has thousands and thousands and thousands, thousands of, people. of people in North Korea that are starving to death. Sadly to say, some of them are children. And what I don't understand is how this guy can have all these luxuries and these people don't hate him. You know what I mean? About giving them some of what he has. And what was reported today, which is actually a good reason why I put this video together, is that these citizens, these lovable, huggable, lovely citizens are crying. Yes, that's the crazy thing. They're crying, tears falling down their face. That this guy is dead. I don't get it. Our story that people are actually crying that this guy's dead, but allegedly they are. They are in misery. They are tragically taken aback that their horrible dictator of a ruler since 1994, 17 years of pure craziness, chaos, and worst above all that, starvation to the most helpless and the most needy of them all, children. And people are crying. And as far as people thinking that this is going to be a change in North Korea, wipe that right off the list. It won't be a change. Because due to the fact that crazy sometimes is genetic, and you have Kim Kwong, sorry, Kim Jong-il, and his son Kim Jong-un, they're pretty much the same person. And no one really knows how old this Kim Jong-un really is. So he could be like a teenager. But I don't know. But what I can tell you is the craziness will continue. Story number three is Tim Tebow. Just one season, everyone. Okay, do not start jumping on the bandwagon just because this guy's having one good season. One, just one good season. And this isn't, I love myself some Tebow. It's awesome. But it's just too, too much, much hype. hype. It's only his second year. Allow him some time to earn all this publicity. People just tend to just jump on on the next big thing. People investing way too much confidence into an unproven player. On a religious note, this hashtag that's been going on on Twitter. Like, are most of the reactions to these people that are angry about God is not so great hashtag on Twitter are saying they want to kill people. Now, if you're a God loving person, you live your life by the Bible, isn't one of his commandments actually, one of his commandments is that thou shall not murder. Thou shall not murder. Or thou shall not kill, depending on which version you want to go with. But either way, why are these people that are post that sound like they're defending God, Christian loving people? backlashing and just making yourself just as bad as the person that originally put the hashtag and made it a trend to begin with that God is not great. I mean like we should be celebrating this time of year but you don't have to like threaten people with violence, possible death threats. It's it's pretty stupid and I never got into the whole Twitter thing and this is why. There's a lot of stupid trends out there. A lot of people overreact but at the same time You've been doing with the best. Keep on rocking in the free world <laughs> while well, it's still free.